FDB Film Study is sponsored by Happy Valley United. To learn more about how you can support Penn State student athletes and IL opportunities, visit happyvalleyunited.com today. What's up, guys? Today we're talking about Penn State, Maryland. Let's talk about how they let Drew Aller off the reins. Let's talk about how the offense had some mojo, they had a rhythm, and really make simple reads for our quarterback. I loved watching this game. I can't wait to break it down with you. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll answer questions anytime. Let's do this. Drew had a phenomenal game on the road, but don't overlook how the game plan set him up for success. By giving him easier reads and less to process, Drew played fast, played in rhythm, and saw his ball placement and accuracy improve. Drew and Yurchich were really on the same page. So first things first, we're going to talk about it. It's a very simple RPO concept, and what they're doing is they're just going to block this off. They're going to run a speed out by number two. There's a quick, easy read by Drew Aller. Look how fast this ball gets out of his hand. Look how he stays over the top of his hips. He delivers a good ball. That's an easy catch. But you know what? That doesn't seem like much, but that's an eight-yard gain. It is second down and two. They're ahead of the chains. You're getting heavy run action with double teams here. You're sucking linebackers down, and this guy right here has to watch the inman line scrimmage. All right, so you get a good easy play. All right, so moving on to the next play, it's second down and three. All right, you've spread the field out against Maryland. Maryland is an odd front team. Odd meaning they have three down linemen. One, two, three. They're going to keep these linebackers apex. means they're halfway between the, the receiver and the tackle. Halfway between the receiver and the tackle. And they're playing what looks like a quarter's coverage over the top. Yurzic made this such a simple read. All he did was he told the tailback, you're going to go into a fast motion outside. All we're doing is we're going to look. And this is the old school, they call this stick draw. So all they're going to do is they're going to do this. This guy is going to run the flat. This guy is going to take off the top. And this guy is going to run a hitch in this window. If this linebacker plays the run, he's going to throw the inside turning hitch. If this guy takes goes out like you just saw, he's just going to take off and run the draw. And now you've got a first down. See, what he's doing is he's making very simple reads for the quarterback He's making it easy. He's making it make sense for his guy. And he's doing a really good job with it. So now we're going to talk about something else. You're in what we like to call a tight end wing set with twins to the field. Now, let's talk about the play call here. I thought was really interesting. Number one, it's a very simple, easy, easy read for the quarterback. But what I thought was even more impressive was not only was it an easy read, you've got a nice pocket developed because of the run fake. Okay, now again, this doesn't look like much of a run fake, but it really considered one, if you haven't noticed. So watch the linebacker step down. He sits and he waits. This right here is a huge deal because it opens up this right here. So all they're doing is they're running what's called a levels concept, okay? And so levels is very simple. One guy takes an intermediate shallow. One guy goes a little deeper. And they're all they're doing is they're going to read whatever happens in this area here. So if you watch... Okay, the outside guy, he takes the inside. Okay, the slot receiver presses out and he runs the dig over the top. And all the quarterback's doing is he's reading what's happening here. If this guy drives down, he's going to find the open replacement area. If this guy stays back and plays over the top, then you've got the open empty area here. Quarterback sits in the pocket, throws a great ball, and there you go. You've got a huge gain. Simple read, one man read. We're not having to go through progressions, we're getting comfortable in the pocket. All right, same formation, same drive. So now we're going to get ourselves vertical again. Now, this is, I thought, was really a good one because now he's starting to feel like we're opening up a little bit. And so what he was trying to throw here, okay, and we're going to talk about this. If you watch the quarterback, what he's trying to throw is he's trying to throw what's called a corner post right here. The number two receiver is going to try to press vertical, run a corner, and hit the post, trying to get this guy to drive over the top of it. So if you see the quarterback's eyes, notice the quarterback is staring at this guy the whole time. Notice the safety plays over the top. The, he plays too high. He sees the post. That safety drives back over the top. So now his eyes go back to basically a levels concept on the back side. So the cop route wasn't open. So now he's going to come back to a levels concept. Levels, meaning this guy's here. This guy's going to pivot and come back. It's the same read. He knows that the safety takes us over the top. All I'm going to do is I'm going to read that second level defender. He plays the shallow. I'm going to throw the intermediate. And now you got a big play to a tight end and you've got a really successful play. These are very simple reads for a quarterback. Now, take a look. We have two quarterbacks in at the same time. 
Now you're such a starting to have a little fun. He brings the quarterbacks over. He moves the quarterback in. He moves Drew outside. We take the shotgun handoff. All of this is causing miscommunication and commotion right here. You get the ball. You hand it off to Drew. Drew's looking for the sprint here. Basically, this is boot, guys. This is old school boot action. you got fake run this way, okay? And then you're going to flood the routes back this way, okay? You're going to flood it, and this guy's going to delay. If you ever watched the LA Rams, this is a big one right here. So you're going to get a guy outside. You're going to get a guy to the flat. You're just flooding the area. And this 84 is just going to find the open gap area. He's a delay route. All right. So you should have you take a look at it. He throws the delay it's backyard football, but you've got one, two. OK. And you have another guy, three over here on the flood concept. And he dumps the ball off to the delay route. And literally, it's like this would be no different than Drew Aller playing quarterback, faking the handoff this way and booting out. It's the same play. The only difference is he now has two quarterbacks in the backfield and he's having fun with it and playing games. In fact, it's so good. I'm not going to lie. I might put it in this week. All right. Now we're in ace concept, double wing look, got an offset back. For the most part, this usually means pass in their concepts. And so you can see what's happening. This right here, guys, this is what we call spacing. All right. Spacing. You're going to get a hitch. You're going to get a speed out. You're going to get a hitch. You're going to get a speed out. And you're going to throw the softest coverage, shortest throw. So right now, I know that these two guys right here, they're taking away my hitches. I don't like this hitch right here because I don't like what's happening. But I saw the corner up top play a little higher. Notice he's bailing. This guy's playing outside leverage down here. So I have the speed out right here. I, I rip it on time. First down, move the chains. Okay. Now we got tray sets, third down and manageable, which unlike sometimes we haven't been getting ourselves into. You get a jet motion with a tight end across. You know it's man-to-man -man because he goes over the top. That's good for our quarterback to know. He now knows he has man-to-man. -man. So he knows when they run this little arrow concept right here, okay, they're picking this off, which is a phenomenal play. But what makes this even more impressive is this is 100% Drew Aller having a great communication, understanding that these guys didn't get the pick, this guy's not open, take off and run. That's a kid who looks like he's been in a, in a system for years. That is the stuff we've been talking about with Drew Aller. He can do these things. You just have to let him off the leash. All right, back to the tight end wing look. Twins to the field. All right, this is a great pass concept set up. All right, if you take a look, watch Drew set himself into a nice situation, and he lets this thing rip. All right, and let's talk about this route concept right here. This is called shallow. OK, or drive. You're going to get a guy out of the backfield running the wheel. You've got a guy running the drag. You've got a guy running the dig. It's very similar to the levels concept I showed you before. And all they're going to do is they're going to read the intermediate player on that side. If that guy takes the shallow, we're going to rip the dig and he just has to win the route. It's an easy route for him to win because the guy covering him has outside leverage. All right. And he has to chase the whole time. It's a very easy, simple read for our quarterback. I like what they did. It was very simple. All right, we got first down now. Same thing. We get man-to-man -man by sending the guy in motion. You know what you have. Okay, so now the quarterback can set himself in a good situation. And now he can let this ball rip. Now, is it a good ball? No, but I like the shot we took off of the wheel route right here. So if you watch, all they're doing is they're running basically a post and a wheel. Now, if this guy would have came underneath, like if you paid attention earlier when they ran an out route with 84, this guy drove down inside and underneath, and this would have been open. I like what he did here. He came off. He threw the wheel. He looked the safety off. Safety sitting in the middle of the field. Uh, great ball, no. Coverage good, yes. But it, again, you have an opportunity to be able to do that. Take your shots when you get them. Okay. Third and eight. Now we're in again. We're here. We're two by two, middle of the field. Let's watch this. This was impressive to me. I, I want to show you why it's impressive. Again, we are looking at a very simple double slant concept. All we're doing is we're going to read this defender right here. All right. We know this guy is going to bail. You have one high. And this guy right here is going to tell me if this guy right here wants to sit in this window, we're going to throw 84 right here on a sit down. If this guy right here decides he wants to run with the inside slant. We're going to throw it right behind his ear. Notice that he runs with him. He runs with 84. That means the flat end is now behind him and is wide open. 
And again, you have a corner trying to play over the top so they don't get beat deep. Great play call. Easy read for our quarterback. And now we're back down to the goal line again. Okay. You got trips to the field and a bunch set. You get motion. Very, very simple. What are they in? Well, they're obviously in some form of a zone concept because you have eyes inside. Okay. Watch Drew. I, get, I love what he does here. He steps back. He sees what he likes. And he rips this ball into the end zone. And let's talk about the concept here. This is a, a corner route concept. All they're going to do is they're going to run a speed out with the outside receiver, and they're going to run a corner that's going to flatten or go high based on the safety. So right now he's reading this corner. The corner takes the out route. He knows this is the ball. So now the tight end, see how he stutters? That guy plays him nice and tight. He puts that ball where only he can get it. He takes it nice and high to the six foot six tight end, and you've got yourself a great play call. What I really appreciate about Yurisich's play designs was that he was very simple with one man reads, possibly two man, and he made things very easy for him.